The unprecedented success of Israel in neutralizing the Iranian missile attack seems to have helped the United States Missile Defense Agency MDA, in advancing its selection of Lockheed Martin for the award of the contract to develop a new interceptor to defend the American homeland against intercontinental ballistic missiles coming from potential sources such as North Korea, Iran, China and Russia. In the process, the MDA has overruled the usual objections that the US does not need them, that the current ground-based mid-course defense GMD systems as interceptors are good enough, and that the threat of nuclear retaliation is sufficient to deter adversaries. The interceptor is known as the Next Generation Interceptor or the NGI, expected to be operational in the year 2028. It is part of a network system of radars, interceptors and other equipment that is designed to protect the United States from intercontinental ballistic missiles. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed, we request you to subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. Please do not forget to like and share this video. Lockheed Martin's contract is worth 17.7 .7 billion US dollars, which it has won by axing competitor Northrop Grumman. This win is said to be a huge morale booster for the company, given that the United States government has decided to reduce F-35 orders and that the Army abandoned the development of a future attack reconnaissance aircraft, a next-generation helicopter for which Lockheed had submitted a design in February. The American government reportedly plans to buy 20 NGIs and deploy them at Fort Greeley, Alaska. The Biden administration, it may be noted, has requested the Congress 28.4 billion US dollars for missile defenses in its fiscal budget 2025. An internal source said the Lockheed Martin is proud to partner with the MDA on a revolutionary interceptor to advance America's security. Lockheed Martin is committed to delivering reliable interceptors that will seamlessly integrate with the current GMD system and can rapidly evolve with the threat. Its NGI solution is the solution the MDA requires and hence Lockheed Martin looks forward to partnering with its customers on this new homeland missile defense interceptor for decades to come. With Lockheed Martin's extensive understanding of the end-to-end -end missile defense mission, it is on the path to critical design review as a trusted and transparent partner. It is also committed to delivering the first NGI in advance of warfighters' needs. At present, there are 44 GMD systems with the majority set to be located in silos at Fort Greeley, Alaska and the rest stationed at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. But these are not equipped to counter missiles that contain multiple kill vehicles or decoys, which can make the defeat process more complex. NGI is intended to fill this gap as soon as it is ready, it is argued. According to experts, NGI would incorporate another underlayer capability in addition to the primary layer in the existing GMD systems. An underlayer is said to be a family of shorter range missile interceptors including Aegis BMD and Terminal High Altitude Aerial Defense or THAAD which can track and engage enemy warheads that evade the higher altitude ground based interceptors. Missile defense works best when interceptor systems are layered. Multiple layers using different defensive technologies and weapon platforms can provide such a defense also known as a defense in depth. Integrating short, medium, and long range defense interceptors is not only more efficient and cost effective, but also more likely to intercept its target. The other existing systems, such as SM3 and THAAD, are not enough given their smaller numbers to guard the entire US territory against Russian and Chinese missiles. The SM3 missile, generally deployed on a naval vessel, is designed to intercept medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles when they are outside the atmosphere. However, given its smaller size compared to the GBI, the interceptor would not provide coverage for the entire United States. THAAD may have some use against long range ballistic missiles and perhaps hypersonic weapons in their terminal glide phase, but the defensive coverage of THAAD would be smaller than the SM3 and both are smaller than the reach of the ground-based interceptors or the GBI which can protect the entire nation from its two locations in Alaska and California. Jai Hind!